Um, so while anyway. the Prime Minister has promised more tax relief to help families, a council tax hike um, is unavoidable as an increasing number of local authorities face bankruptcy right across the country. Well, a deadline expired last night for Birmingham City Council to set out a credible plan to address their £300 million budget gap over the next two years. Let's cross now to... Why were we uh, showing pictures of Ed Davey for? I'm not sure. Well, anyway. <laughs> I wondered why you were pausing. Yeah. OK. <laughs> He's like in his van. I'll tell you what, we can speak now um, to our West Midlands reporter, Jack Carson. Jack, I've got an idea. First thing they could do is switch off their lights whilst they're on all night long. Why is that lit up like a Christmas tree at vast expense when they're bankrupt? Good point. It's annoying me. Well, that is, of course, um, every bit of expense. Yeah, well, every bit of expenditure is, is under scrutiny, isn't it, here at Birmingham uh, City Council? Of course, the commissioners have been in here uh, since October, overviewing uh, the councils. It looks to make those those savings and those cuts. Now, it's back in December, wasn't it, that they um, the council said they'd found around 177 million pounds worth of savings over the course of two years. But the commissioners, which were sent in by Michael Gove, have said uh, said back then that the, by Yesterday, when that deadline expired, they needed to have found £300 million. And so today we wait very much with bated breath as to whether they have found um, that money. But the fact is cuts are on the way and the selling off of assets is also on the way. We already know from um, plans um, revealed in the documents last month that around £57 million um, is expected uh, to be uh, uh, taken, uh, withdrawn from the Children and Families Department. The next biggest saving um, so far planned comes from the uh, highways and bins um, area, around £29 million worth of cuts from there and that's very much one of those more obvious um, signs of the bankruptcy of this council and the stacking up maybe of, of bin bags on high streets um, and in residential areas as well as those of course the statutory services they can't um, be taken away completely but the frequency is one of the things this council can look at to try and save money but it's not just Birmingham that are very much in this same position of course we take a look at the bankrupt councils uh, across the country we've got the likes of Hackney um, we've got Hillingdon, Northamptonshire, Slough, Thurrock, um, and you know, moving further up north, Nottingham, one of the most recent ones uh, as well, to, of course, uh, declare their own bankruptcy. And where this council goes from here and what they decide to do might also include raising council tax, of course. That is one of the uh, main ways that other councils uh, in the past have uh, achieved um, some raising of, of funds to try and offset their deficits. And, of course, um, we knew last month that the uh, council were going to apply to the Department of Leveling Up to try and raise that uh, above the uh, legal lim limit of, of 5%, possibly to 10 or 15%. And I've been speaking to people on the streets of Birmingham to get their reaction uh, to that. It's graceful, really, isn't it, if you listen to it? And all the work they've done on Birmingham and they still haven't finished off half the projects, which they should have finished off a long time ago. If they can't make it run as a business, then they need to be looking to the government for assistance in, in running, their, running themselves as a business. I mean, I'd certainly be worried about raising council tax. I'd be less worried if I you know, could see a proper plan of how it's going to be spent and what we're going to get as a benefit from that, rather than it just bailing out the council. just do not see why the existing council taxpayers should be asked to pay f to pick up the tab for something that is, in that is not their fault. Well, I agree with the 5%. I think it's any higher, people are going to struggle. You know, they've got to be a bit fair to those who can't afford it, really. You know, the first, the first signs of the bins not to be emptied, then the rodents around, you know. It's a shame to see it, you know, it really is. Yeah, so around a 10% increase would mean around £195 extra a year on a bandy property in the city. And at a time when many people are already struggling with their own bills, any extra cost, of course, is going to be um, bad news for them. And we'll bring you the latest here from Birmingham throughout the day. Just get them to switch their lights out, Jack. Yeah, That's so we to turn them all off. You could leave the porch on, at least yeah. so it looks at somebody's home. But why every single window? I'd love to know what their electricity bill is. Well, it's anything like their other bills. It's well, pretty, pretty drastic, care, isn't it? I think that's really outrageous.